Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this proper, lovely, full on banana ice cream. So if you want to keep watching to find out how I made it then please do just that. Oh look at it. Oh so good. Yum 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 yum. So yep, I uh, let the recipe and the how to roll now. So what you need is as many bananas as you want to make a decent amount. So I would say about three to four and they need to be ripe and have all the brownie spots like that. Otherwise they won't do a very good job. You need a freezer to freeze the bananas and then you need a food processor. It could look like this one, which is quite an old one, but it still does an amazing job. A little mini small one, which still does the same sort of job. Just you have to do it in more batches rather than putting it all in one in this one. This one might take about three or four rounds to get everything in or something similar to a Nutribullet but I think it's about 20, 15, 20 pound this from Argos, um, like a blender thing. So that is what you need. So you need bananas, a freezer and then some sort of processor, cutter, crusher type thing. So, so what you want to do is cut your bananas up into coins, so in little sections and then put them in a bag or in a tub or whatever you prefer and freeze them. You can do them for I'd say about a minimum of four hours for this to work but overnight is better if you can. So now what we need to do is put the frozen bananas into the blender. So put the frozen bananas in your blender and then somehow one handedly that's it, put the lid on, switch it on and mix it. So if you can already see, it starts to kind of go like breadcrumbs. So I'll show you the stages. So this is the point we're up to now. It literally looks like breadcrumbs, it really does. You would not think that is bananas or would make banana ice cream. Have a look. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. I think it's hit the cream point. Get a spoon. Oh. Mm mm mm. Very sharp, nice and creamy. Okay, I'm quite tired. Now you can eat it when it looks like this, it's no problem at all, but to make it far more ice cream, if you just put it in a box, like a lunch box or a Tupperware box or whatever, and then freeze it overnight, it'll come and it'll be scoopable, which I will show you in a sec. And then it looks like lush. Doo -doo -doo. And all of that, I bought four bananas, which were 10 pence each, so I've got like a whole pot a decent sized pot of ice cream for 40p and I know exactly what's in it bananas and that is it and honestly it tastes amazing and it forms like proper ice cream as well because at the minute it is like really ooh, sloppy and watery but it tastes I'm gonna even have some actually mm, it tastes so nice when it's like that but yeah freeze that overnight and then tomorrow it'll be proper scoop it and nice so we will see tomorrow what happens with it and then when you pull it out of the freezer it'll be all hard and formed like proper ice cream so the other thing to do now is to scoop it into a bowl and basically there is your ice cream and I'll tell you what it's so nice if you put some crushed walnuts on it so let's get my walnuts out so walnuts if you get some crushed walnuts, like crush them in your hand or use a rolling pin or something and sprinkle them over the top and then maybe some pure um, 
Um, it's called maple syrup if you sprinkle it over the top and it is so nice this is delicious and if you make it tweet me or leave me a comment below letting me know that you've done it because i'd love to know what your thoughts are on it it is so good now i'm gonna scoop some more in there and go have a banana ice cream feast so thank you so so much for watching this uh do all the usual stuff like if you liked it subscribe if you subscribe to it what subscribe if you want to see more and um thank you very much for watching goodbye